Let's look at a chemical reaction that's at equilibrium and then we disturb it. So, which is true at time one for the chemical reaction A and B go to C in the aqueous phase? And you have equilibrium and then a perturbation of one of the concentrations, which is true? Is Q bigger than K, equal to K, or less than K? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, the reactant line goes higher than equilibrium, so Q is greater than K. B, the system is still in equilibrium, so Q equals K. Or C, the reactant concentrations have increased. This lowers Q, so Q is less than K. Think about those three explanations and make a selection. We're looking at a reaction that was at equilibrium. Macroscopically, all the concentrations had stopped changing. And then a perturbation occurred, and it looks like that perturbation was to increase the concentration of B. B is a reactant, so if I increase the concentration of B in the reaction quotient, products over reactants, I'd be making the denominator, the reactants, bigger. That would make Q smaller than its equilibrium value. So in this case, Q would be less than K. What do we expect would happen here? Well, we've increased a reactant concentration. We expect the equilibrium to shift towards products. So that numerator in the reaction quotient would get larger until Q is equal to K again and equilibrium is reestablished. But just after I add that reactant, Q is less than K and the correct answer here is C.